Hey guys, today in this video we're going to talk about the Zar Mini Rib 10 HDL. The HDL stands for Hypalon Tubes with a flat deck and a bow locker. The Zar Mini Rib 10 HDL has a length overall of 9 feet 11 inches. It carries a beam of 5 feet 7 inches and the tubes are 17 inch tubes. If you'll notice, the non-skid pattern of the deck is an artistic design, plus it covers most of the deck to protect the uh, powder-coated aluminum hull. The bow locker in the 10-footer is very large. Uh, there's two hatches, one hatch for the fuel tank and also doubles as a seat. Uh, the bow locker is large enough to fit a six gallon fuel tank in if you so choose with space left over for other things. The top hatch is for uh, anchor only so it has a separate dedicated anchor locker hatch. Uh, one of the other features of the Czar is the adjustable uh, aluminum seat. Uh, it slides up and down to go into whatever position you would want, either as a driver or as a passenger. Uh, and all the Czar Minis come with a seat bag. It's got a nice cushion on it for the seat, and it's a very large storage bag uh, for not only stuff in the boat, but also it acts as a uh, grocery bag if you're out getting provisions. Uh, it's got a nice long, uh, arm strap on it so that you can use it as a large bag. Uh, one of the other features of the boat that uh, are unique is the, the design of what I'll call the bilge area. Um, the water that may get under the deck uh, comes out of a hole here. So what you're seeing here is actually the hull. Um, if you have any water in between the subfloor and the hull, you'll know it and can get it out. Uh, keeping the boat, of course, light and uh, dry. Uh, also, it's a very nice area. Uh, it was built large enough specifically to be able to mount a bilge pump in for the people that want to rig the boat with the uh, smart console or the tender console. Uh, one of the other features of the boat is this 10 footer carries a maximum horsepower of 20. Uh, most of the competitors carry a max horsepower of 15. So that's one advantage. Uh, the powder coating process of the Czar is exceptional. It's a three part powder coating process. Some of the other uh, items that they've built, they did a very good job with the handles. They're nice double stitched handles that uh, are going to last a long time. There's little features here and there, a little uh, Velcro patch for a painter line. Uh, for lifting purposes, there are six different lifting points in the boat. There are two forward that are nice welded solid uh, lifting bits. Uh, for the stern, depending on what your needs are, it can either be lifted from inside the transom, down at the deck, or from the outside of the transom up top. Uh, it gives it the most maximum usability for everyone's needs. Um, also, the, every boat comes with a fuel line chase already run. Uh, so when you put your fuel tank in the bow, you can easily pull the fuel line from the bow locker back to the stern to keep the deck clear. Uh, one last feature is every boat comes with a full length uh, keel guard. The boats are offered in both Hypalon and PVC. Uh, we recommend greatly anyone in warm subtropical or tropical climates for Hypalon, but for those who would like a lesser expensive alternative or if you're up in a colder climate then the thermally welded PVC is a fine choice as well. Well, thanks guys. If you have any questions, you can see your authorized Czar Mini dealer anywhere around the world. Thanks.